Hi friends, today I am going to explain you Linux di uh, directory structure. Actually, the thing is, this one is um, operating used operating system is currently Linux Mint 7.2. It's a current version, and every Linux version have the same kind of file structure. It's not uh, like uh, Red Hat Linux have different or Ubuntu have different. All have the same structure. Only some differences are there. Okay, so if you are coming from Windows, the Linux file system structure can be similar. Can be diff uh, partially different. Actually, the C drive and the drive letters are gone, replaced by a you know um, septic sounding directories, most of which have the th uh, three letter names. The file system hierarchy defines the structure of a file system on Linux and other Unix system operating system. However, you know the file system can also be some directory. If you come with you know in a Linux machine, so if you just open actually my computer uh, computer option is only available in this kind of uh, mint or you know actually the scene is if you come like this one you know there is no any c drive only the file system is there if you open the file system see these directories are there it's a like bin boot and our maximum all are three directory you know so it's you are not going to be find the c drive d drive in the linux file in the linux system okay actually the main directory is the root directory actually everything on your linux system is located under the this forest less this directory you know this uh, forest uh, directory it's a called as the root directory okay actually it's a <coughs> you can think of the uh, this uh, root directory as being similar to the c drive uh, c directory on the windows but the this is not strictly true you know as linux doesn't have the drive letters while another programs uh, would be located in the d uh, on the windows in uh, windows programs are in the d but here in only in the file system everything is under the this uh, root folder okay so we'll go one by one uh, this one is the first one is the bin actually it's a for essential user binaries okay and if you open it actually the bin directory contains the essential user programs okay that must be present when the system is mounted in the single single user mode actually these are the all the application that is required for a user okay for their uh, when they when they log in they run the program all are all are the essential user managed programs that are here actually application sizes fire firefox are also uh, are stored in the user slash bin uh, directory you know uh, it's uh, important for any users okay so this one is the bin and then after we will come on the we we will cover each and every aspect of uh, this one so nothing to uh, nothing to worry about uh, nothing to worry about it you have to be just uh, follow me okay and the second one is the boot okay the boot directory um, boot directory have the means uh, all the the directory contains you know files needed to be boot the system for example the grub bootloader okay and the grub bootloader files and in your linux kernels are all stored in the boot this boot directory you know so this bootloader configuration file system are not look actually they are just um, they are not in slash etc and other configuration file these are the in the boot directory okay and goes back so i explained you bin for user it's a for user binary program this one is for the look uh, for the bootloader and the third one is cd-rom actually cd-rom directly is not part of the you know file system hierarchy but you will still find it on the ubuntu or linux in other system you know it's temporary look it's a this one is the temporary location of cd uh, cd-roms injected in your pc injected in your uh, this uh, linux machines okay so this is the temporary location of your cd-rom folder and fourth one is dev it's a device files okay actually linux exposes device as a files okay and they've the dev character contains a number of special files that represent a device as you seen here all the like um, buses um, bus means um, cpu disk utilization everything everything you can find device files are stored in the uh, this dev file dev folder okay so this one is dev is used for device file then we have etc actually etc is the configuration files okay the etc directory contains a configuration file which can be generally edited by hand in a text editor 
ETC directly contains a system wide configuration file, you know, like user configuration files are located in the each user home directory. It's a in comes in the ETC folder, ETC directory. Okay, so this one also explained the ETC, and now we have the home folder. Actually, the home directory contains a home folder for each user. For example, if a username is Rumi and you have a home folder located at slash home uh, forward slash home forward slash Rumi, the user folder contains the user's data file, you know, uh, for like user SMC configuration file. Each or only user has the right access to their own home folder only. As you see here, my folder is also here in uh, Rumi directory. So these are all the um, files related to my job is in the this is the same like um, and that windows um, my comp and that uh, my documents and uh, program you know document and folder program and now we will come to the library actually library is essential shared libraries okay and the library directly contains the libraries needed by the essential binaries in the slash uh, for slash bin and slash bin folder library needed by the binaries in the user bin folder located in the user field actually this is the only uh, essential shared libraries with the all other program okay it's a library and then we have to be library for it's also part of uh, that uh, library so actually if you have 64 bit operating system then this uh, library 64 will be used and now this one is the media actually Actually, the media directory contains a sub directories where removable media devices inserted in the computer and mounted. Actually, when you have any uh, slash drive uh, inserted, that will be mounted in the disk directory in the media. Okay, instead of uh, so, this is the location where you can find out the all your uh, means removable media storage devices. You know. Then after come on the M, um, MNT. It's a temporary mount mount points. Actually, the mount directory is where the system administrator mounted temporary files while using them. Okay, and for example, if you are mounting a Windows partition to perform some file recovery operating operations, you mount mount at a slash mnt slash windows. You know, however, you can mount other file system anywhere on the system. So this is just for the temporary mount point. This uh, mnt is for temporary mount point. Okay, then we come on the ops. It's uh, this one is for the optional package. It is the op directory contains a sub directories for the optional software package. You know, it's commonly used for a property software that doesn't obey the standard file system hierarchy. For example, a property program it dumps file, it files in the op and whether it, it can be installed. So this one also explanation of op directory. Now we have the proc. Okay, this one. It's a kernel or process file. It is the prop directory similar to the dev directory because it doesn't contain standard files. It contains a special files that represent system and process information. Means all the system and process process information are going to be stored in the proc proc directory. Okay. Then after you, as you see here, this is minus is also installed because I'm logging with the normal user. I'm not the root user. Okay. So this root directory. <coughs> as you see here now it could not be displayed actually the root directory is the home directory of the root user it's not mine so instead of being located the home uh, slash home dot slash root it is located under the slash root and it is a for administrator only okay uh, so this one is also uh, your uh, root now you have the uh, run okay run uh, run is the directory is a fairly new and gives application as a standard place to store transit files that requires like socket and process IDs. These files can't be stored in the temporary because files in temporary may be deleted. So this is the for the application state file, this uh, run directory. Okay. Then after you comes for the SBIN. Actually, SBIN is the system administrator binaries. This SBIN directory is similar to the bin directory. It contains uh, essential binaries that are generally intended to be run by the root user of the system administrator okay so this one is the explanation of uh, S, S binary and now we have the SRB this one SRB is the service data the SRB directly contains a data data of services provided by the system if you are using the Apache HTTP web server to serve a website you would like to store your website files in the directory instead of inside of SRB directly okay so this one is your for the service data directly and then after we have system 
we have temp folder user folder okay and just come with the temporary for temporary files is it temp this is application where store temp in this directory application has stored temporary files in the temp directory actually these files are generated generally deleted whenever your system is restarted and may be deleted at uh, any time of the utility such as a temporary watch and other things okay so these are the so temporary and now this one is for the user is a for uh, user binaries and read only data the user binary contains application and files used by users okay uh, so this one is the also user directory and now important one is the where it's a variable data files okay the where directory is the very uh, is the writable counterpart to the user directory which can be read only in normal operation actually log files and everything else that would be normally be written to user during normal operation are written to the where directory so you can find the logs uh, of everything in the this where directory okay so in this way you can um, even in some in some operating system you can find the sc linux uh, directory this is for linux virtual system okay so these are things that that we can uh, you can have to be understand understand with the linux folder so hope you understand uh, hope you understand what's the uh, what's the structure of linux uh, file system if something is uh, remaining you must be in uh, must become uh, your comment is required on that topic Hope you like my videos. Please subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching.